So today I'm going to be showing you a starter pack I put together that includes a hoodie, t-shirt and a long sleeve. Uh, this is just for those that are getting into 3D and maybe want to use some product renders for their designs or maybe just want the Chloe or Marvelous files. So it's currently going for $10 on my store. Uh, so if you don't want to buy the entire bundle, you can also get the hoodie, the t-shirt and the long sleeves all separately. So you don't necessarily have to buy this. These all come with animated pieces. The version 2.1 doesn't, but the version 2 does. Uh, so when you do download the files, just have a look at that and you'll see what I'm talking about. But for this, we're going to be talking about this 3D starter pack. So this starter pack includes your project files, which are your clone marvelous files, your blender files, your pack textures, and some Photoshop files, which when you unpack, you'll get those textures. First thing you want to do is just download this. The next thing you're going to do is head over to Blender. So the next thing you want to do is head over to Blender and download it. Uh, this is going to be the software we're going to be using. If you don't have Photoshop to edit the files, you can use Photopia. I'll link everything below. So this is just Photopia. Uh, it's a basically an online version of Photoshop and you can use the Photoshop files in here to edit them. So you don't actually need Photoshop. Uh, so once you have all of that downloaded, you'll, you'll get your zip file over here. Make sure to unzip it. So I'm just going to click extract all. You can use the unzip tool on Mac if you want to extract that. It is a small file size. Once that's extracted, uh, you, you can go into that and you'll see we have our open files, which include all the clo files, marvelous files um, and all of that. And then we have our blender file so let's go into the blender file that's mainly what we're going to be working in super simple everything's already set up your textures are all set up uh, when you go into your preview here you'll see that uh, we have a preview set up this is just the preview that i rendered out um, to change this it's very simple so on the top right here we have our hoodie our long sleeve and then our t-shirt so we're going to start with the t-shirt um, let's click on the t-shirt over here and hide this Okay, so we have our textures over here and then our render on the side. Now, all three of the garments have a rotation set up already. So that's good to go. You don't have to do anything there. But for, for changing of the design on the garment, what we're going to do is we're going to click this unpack item over here. Click that. Then we're going to say use file from current directory. So if we go back into our starter bundle, you'll see now we have textures and this Photoshop file is opened. So we're gonna open that up in Photoshop now. And then the first thing you're gonna see is the design that I put on here. So in order to change this, uh, we can delete these two layers on the right here. Just press on them and press delete. Uh, we can reveal these labels. So here you can see that we have our left sleeve, right sleeve, neckline, front, back, and stitching. What we can do here, if you can't see that too clearly on your screen, we're gonna unlock this color here, double click on it, and make it white so that you can see all the labeling. Now for the next thing, we're gonna hide the labeling because we know where everything is. Now say I want the shirt to be, let's just do like like a, a bluish color, bluey purple color. This is just for an example. So we know where all the, the labels are. If you wanna make some pieces different to others, uh, it's essentially like a flat lay or pattern of your garment. So you can add shapes, textures, logos, wherever you want to. So if you want to change the stitching, you can click the rectangle tool, tool over here. Uh, we're going to change it to black and we're going to just create a rectangle over the stitching there. So once that's good, all our stitching is now going to be black. Now we're going to add a logo in. So I'm just going to use text. You can drag and drop anything for text. I'm just going to type here, Daniel, and I'm going to put this on the front and then we're going to hit save. So now that it's saved, uh, we can go back into Blender. You'll see nothing has been updated. So this is because uh, it hasn't registered that the file has been updated. So in order to fix this, uh, we're going to press unlinked data block here. And we're going to click open, go back to our textures and hit t-shirt design and open image. And there you can see everything's been updated. You'll notice that there is quite good detailing in the textures here. As you can see, we've got the ribbing and then the actual fabric of the garment. You're able to update all of the files exactly the same. Uh, so you need to unpack your long sleeve, your hoodie to update it, and then you're good to go. Now, if you want to make these the texturing a little bit more aggressive, you can go down to our normal map over here and we can pump this up to say five. You'll see it gets a lot stronger. It's a lot more noticeable. Um, so if you do like that, you can do that. Uh, you can also add your own textures. I do have a VMOD tutorial explaining how to use textures with VMOD textures, um, which is a great one. Check that out. Um, so once we are happy with our design, we're going to go to our render settings. This Now this section is dependent on your computer. The better your specs on your computer, the higher you can push these rendering settings. So if you have a, a laptop or something low end, 
I would definitely suggest sticking around the 200 mark. Uh, now, it's just depending on your PC or your laptop, how long it does render out. But if you want to see that, uh, you can just go to the top right here and say render image. Here it goes. It'll show you. So on mine, it's taking seven seconds to render one frame. Now to get about 10 seconds of footage, you need 300 frames. So you can times it by 300. You can see your little timeline at the bottom here, and then you can work out how long it's going to take to render that out. Now for aspect ratios, maybe you want to not render it in this resolution. You can go to your output settings um, and you're just going to change this. If you want to do square 1080 by 1080. Now you can notice that there is missing space on the top here. So to fix that, we're going to go to our 3D viewport and then we're just going to make sure we clicked on this back wall and you can press S on your keyboard to scale it up and then you have that covered. Now I do have a digital lighting backdrop bundle, which is really cool. It comes with a bunch of different backdrops just to make your shots look a lot more dynamic. Check that out. I do have a video on that as well. Um, so if you want to change this color, maybe you don't want to add any backdrop in. You can just click on the backdrop here. You're going to go a new color and on your base color here, you can just change it like this. Now, if you want to go a little bit closer to your garment, you can go, go to our top view by pressing seven on our keyboard and click on the little camera here. Make sure you're on the first frame and press G on your keyboard followed by Y and just bring it closer and then you'll have a better shot. The other option you can do is press Ctrl Z, go back a bit, and then you're gonna to go to your data setting for your camera. Make sure you clicked on your camera here, and then you can just set your focal length to maybe 50 or 75. And then when you render it out, it'll be a lot closer. So for rendering to do is still, as I showed you before, you can just do render image, uh, and it'll render out one frame. But if you wanna render out the full 360, uh, so what you're going to do is go to your top here, press render animation, and it'll start rendering it out. Now it's going to do frame by frame, as I mentioned before. So just know that it will take quite some time. Um, but in order to render out a video sequence, make sure that your file format is FFmpeg like that. And then that on these presets down here, it's set to H.264 and MP4. Now it is set like that by default. I have set it up like that, this file specifically. Uh, so just know that it will render out as a video. Um, and then you can set your output location here. I just click on the little file there. I'm going to set my desktop. So let's look for desktop, call it whatever you want, render, press OK, and then hit render animation and I'll start rendering it out. So yeah, I hope this video did help. If it did, please make sure to drop a like on the sub below. Make sure to share with your friends. If you need any extra help, make sure to join the Discord. Uh, always happy to help in there as well. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.